Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Maximo. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm doing great. Very happy to be here. Very happy to see you again and to have another class with all of you. Me too, teacher. Hello, Luis. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good I'm evening. fine. Thanks. Thank you. I am very and you? I am very happy to be here today to have another class with all of you to share together. Okay. <laughs> thank you for Thanks, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, today I send you a, a very quick practice about a uh, third person singular. It is always good to refresh. Oh. No. Yes, uh, you are in the group, right? No. Yes. yes. Yes, you are there. I think I saw you today. Okay. Hello. Welcome to the ones that are joining. Hello, Vilma. Welcome. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. And you? I am very happy to be here. Very happy to share another mm -hmm. night of learning. Yes. Yes, I, I am very happy because we have uh, this opportunity to meet and talk and learn together, right? Yes. yes. Okay, today to start the class and welcome to all the rest that are connecting. Hello, Josue. Hello, Nancy, Rosemary. We are okay. going to go over a little bit on the platform that I know that all of you have completed the first section or the second sections because they are basically a review, right? In this, I think this platform will be the easiest of all the modules, right? Because as we have been working on this before, the exercises are not very complicated. Maybe, maybe you are going to have problems with punctuation, or with a letter or something. But for knowledge, I don't think you are going to have a problem. In this one, in the first part of the section, do you remember uh, uh, what answers did you get here? These ones were basically for you to practice possessive adjectives and the verb to be, right? In this case, if you have my name is, yes. is, right, David Garza. In this case, you need to have a verb to be because you don't have it in the sentence. I'm from Mexico. Family is in Mexico City. In this case, the phrase has the verb to be, so we need a possessive adjective. In this case, my. My, very good. And it says, my brother, a university student, and you don't have a verb to be. So in this case, you need the verb. And the verb for my brother, he? Is. Is. Very good. Name is Carlos. In that case, you have a verb, right? So you need a possessive pronoun. Okay. Her. Is. Carlos. Is. His. Uh, his. 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 Hola, hola, como esta? Right? His name is Carlos, right? <laughs> the the next one. Man. Yeah, you confuse the man and he's going to be very confused <laughs> later on. <laughs> Amiga. <laughs> Amigues. Amigues. Name is Sun He Park. I'm 20 years old. You have the verb to be, you need a possessive. Her. Her. It says, I am 20 years old. I am my my my, 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 exactly, my, my, my sister, a student here too, or parents are in Korea right now. My sister is, 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 is right, because it's she. I'm Elizabeth, but everyone calls me Beth. Last name is Silva. My, my, uh -huh, because it's mine, because it says mm -hmm. I am Elizabeth, right? The next one. A student at City College. 
If you're talking about you. I am. I am. Because it says, I am Elizabeth, but everyone calls me Beth. My last name is Silva. I am a student at Silly College. And my parents are. Are. are, because it's plural, right? And there you have your exercise. That was the first one on the section, right? And for the next exercise, we were going to practice the questions. We did this in class. We did this exercise in class. And it says, oh, that's Miss Smith. You, are, you have a person on the answer. And you say? Oh, who's, who, who is, who's, who's, sorry, who is who's that, right? Who's that? Mm -hmm. She's from Miami. Where? Where is she Where from? Where is she from? Very good. It's Celia. What? What's her first name? Very good. The next one, the two students over there. Ah, their names are Jeremy and Karen. What? Who are? Who are? Who are? Uh -huh. who? Who are? Because who are? in the answer, yeah. you have a person. Okay? Si tenemos una persona en la respuesta, it's who, right? Because if you say, what are the two students over there? Students. And it's not possible to have that question, right? The next one, they are from Vancouver, Canada. Where are, where, are, where, are, where are they from? A place, right? They are shy, but very friendly. How are, how are they? Are, how, are. How, are. how are they? Como son ellos? How are they, right? They are shy, but very friendly. And then you continue in the process of your platform. And in this one, you have uh, questions and answers. Are you from the United States? You have to say, answer the questions to give a complete affirmative or negative answer. Remember to place the period at the end of your sentence. Are you from the United States? No, I am, no, not. I am not. No, I am not from the United States, right? Is your teacher from Canada? No, she no, isn't. She isn't. No, from she Canada. isn't or she is not from Canada, right? Is your English class in the morning? No, yes, it, it is. No, it is not. No, it no, is not. No, it, is. <laughs> it is at night. <laughs> are you and your best friend the same age? Yes, we are the same yeah. age. Right? And there you go. <laughs> Las contestantes. And in this one, what, what happened here? Ah! No, I, I am not I, only. Uh, no, I am not. Hey, I was very correct here. No, I am not. Okay. Let's see. There you go. <laughs> no, I am not. Simple. And that's it, right? That was your first section of the platform. And in the last one, it's the reading that we did yesterday, right? Yesterday, we did this exercise in class about the names, right? And we answer the questions yes or no. Do you remember the answers that we gave yesterday? Your name is part of your identity. Yes. True, true, true. right? True. 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 People often feel the same way about a particular name. False. False, False right? Because they have different opinions. Boys, boys' names are more popular than girls' names. False. 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 People are often named after a family member. True. 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 Opinions about names can change. True. 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 Right? And then you submit it, right? And I think this one, they have it incorrect here, but it's okay. People it's often. True. Oh, yes, it's true. About a particular name. Yes. Mm -hmm. In the platform, it's true. But in the real life, it's not. There you go. So. That's the, the, that was basically the first section of the platform, right? And I think all of you completed number one, two, and three already. Yo creo que ya las tienen todas completadas, ¿verdad? Porque sí, me quedé en el audio. One and two. <laughs> one and two, but that's perfect, right? That's perfect. In this one, it's what we started working yesterday about jobs, right? And we were working on this one, right? Where do you work? And this is the conversation we did yesterday. We're going to recap a little bit. 
Hi everyone, welcome to section 2. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Can you listen? Yes. Yes, yes. yes you can. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven, right? This is what we did yesterday with um, the introduction of the topic, right? And we were going to work today basically on simple present statements and WH questions, right? That's why I ask you to study a little bit on how to create third person singular, because in many of the cases, we sometimes forget to add the S to the verb. And in most of the cases, we forget to mention it when we are talking, because we say she worked at Thomas Cook Travel. And it is very important in English to make the emphasis on the third person singular. Say, she works, she takes, she loves it. Because it's very common that we say, ah, she's a guy, she takes people on tours. She takes people on tours. If you are talking about a third person, it is necessary and important to mark the pronunciation. Like in this case, you say, work, what is the uh, simple present third person singular works works take works takes takes study studies 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 teach teaches teaches do does do as no say does 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 go does go 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 the pronunciation have uh, has. 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 has good very good what did you investigate about the third person singular uh -huh. let's catch up what do you have what did you investigate uh, about the, the um, when the verbs finish in s x CH, SH, O, uh, to put ES. Aha, you put ES to the verb. Very good job. Can you give me one example? Kiss, kisses. Kiss, kisses. Good. Kiss, yes. kisses. Another rule. Another rule that you remember? And an example. Uh -huh. mm. Another rule, all the other ones that investigate, or at least that saw the picture that I sent, the rules are there. Ahí estaban arriba las reglitas. Opening the picture right now. <laughs> when they were in the ending in the consonants, um, yeah. Uh huh. Why? Uh, play, plays. Oh, play, only plays. put s. Yes. Uh -huh. But what is a specific rule for that? If you have a y and a vowel before. A um, vowel, yes. Okay. If you have a vowel and y, yes. But if you have a consonant and y, you change. Yes. Uh -huh. Any other rule, people? Huh. It's a moment for you to remember the rules. <laughs> Tick tac, tick tac, tick tac, tick tac, and not the drink, it's the clock. Huh? More rules, more rules. You don't remember them. Okay. Let's see if it if you remember it. Let me just go and share my screen again. Teacher. Yes. Verbs ending in ch, sh, uh -huh. 
S S X C O. Add E S. You add E S to the verbs, right? Those specific verbs, you add E S, right? Can you give me one example? Watches. Watch, watches, right? Good. Another example? Miss, Mrs. Miss, Mrs. Very good job, right? Double S or CH or um, TH at the end. So you add E S. Very good job. Now I have here a couple of exercises. Before we go through the exercise, we are going to review the rules, right? These are exactly the rules that you were mentioning on uh, the general rule for the S, right? The rule for the Y that you change to IES. And the one that uh, Maximo just mentioned about O, S, H, T, C, H, X, or S, S, that you add E, S, right, to these specific forms of the verbs. In this one, the sentences that we have here, okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you for the noticiero, but <laughs> yes. Uh, here, I have the sentences in simple present, but they are not correct. They have a little bit of mistakes there and we need to correct them. So here we have, he goes to bed early is the correct form. But the sentence that we have is he go, he go to bed early. And that is not possible. The next one says, does they live in Canada? What is the problem with that one? The correct does. 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 The problem is does. Uh -huh. So it has uh -huh. to be. The correct is do. 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 Exactly like that, right? It's do. Do. And I'm going to write it in red here. Do they live in Canada? I am usually cook dinner for my family. <laughs> I am cook. usually cooking. Uh -huh. Analyze it and tell me the mistake. I usually cook. Uh -huh. I usually cook because with the verbs in this case, if you are using to use an adverb of frequency, you say, I usually cook. You cannot have two verbs. Porque aquí ya tenía el verbo to be y el verbo cook. So you cannot have two verbs together. Are they have a meeting every week? Have. No, it's have. Are they a meeting every week? Are they a meeting? Analyze it. R. What is the problem with R? Do they have? It's do, right? Do. Do, do they have they. a meeting? Every week, do they have a uh, meeting every week? A question. Ah, uh -huh, it's a question, right? It's a question with do and does, right? I'm going to put it here for you to see it better. Do they have a meeting every week? Yes, they do, right? In this case, it's a yes, no question, but with do. Do they have? If I say, are they have a meeting? Son ellos tienen una reunión? It's not possible, right? Oh, yes. She don't like tennis. Don't. It doesn't like. It doesn't. 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 doesn't like. Doesn't. She doesn't, right? She doesn't. Thank you. Thank you. She doesn't like tennis. That's a problem, right? Don't. Don't is not for he, she, or it. That's something we need to keep in mind. Does John has enough money? Does John have? Have, right? Why do you use have? Because uh, we use the auxiliary does. Because we use the auxiliary does. Very good yes. job. He know the answer. He knows. He knows, knows. He knows right? Lo acabamos de estudiar. He knows the answer. Robert plays basketball on the weekend. Robert plays. Like, um... Without place, the e. without the e, right? Place, because yes. if you have a y and a vowel, you only add s. They has lots of free time. 
They have. 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 They have. have. Because with they, you don't use has. You use have. Do they usually drive into work? Do they do usually drive? Drive to work. Here you say, do they usually drive, drive. to work? Okay. Now, from number 11 to number 16, do it on your notebook. Go ahead. Ya hicimos las primeras 10 de ejemplo. You can do the next ones. From number 11 to number 16, write the correct answer on your notebook. Write the correct answer. Write the correct answer on your notebook. Only the correct one, okay? The incorrect, no. Only the correct one. I am going to give you two minutes for this. Let's see. I can listen to someone breathing. <laughs> there we go. You have two minutes to finish. Two minutes to finish. Hurry up. Did you finish all of them? Yes. Cool. 30 seconds to finish for the rest of you. Twenty four seconds, hurry up, twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Okay, that's it. Time is over. I am going to get the most talkative ones for this exercise. Elizabeth. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <I say>, ah. <laughs> no, I am going to so I am going to take Carlos Antonio, Armando, Cecilia, Damaris, and Emperatriz. Carlos Antonio. Okay, Carlos Antonio, you are going to be the first one. Go ahead. Number 11. Perdón, eh, teacher, ¿qué era lo que íbamos a realizar? Welcome back to the class. We are going to correct the sentences. Ah, andaba comprando pupusas. ¿Qué andaba haciendo? <risa> no, estaba, estaba poniendo atención en las primeras 10, pero en estas no sé cuál es. Mm. I, I, do you remember Pinocchio? <risa> It's going to grow your nose. And you're going to break the camera. 
you have to correct the sentences. You see, this is the importance of the camera, okay? Everybody, I need to see the cameras on. It is not an option. It's kind of a responsibility. It's like an obligation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Carlitos, dígale a la niña bueno. Mari que le dé su pupusa que tiene que ir a clase. <laughs> you have to correct the no, sentence. Si es... Ah, la, la, las oraciones correctas. Yes, number 11. Give me number 11. Eh, eh, Jenny is no work at restaurant. Uh -huh. What is the correct form? Eh, Jenny eh, does, doesn't. Good, you see that you are paying attention. Does work at a restaurant. Good, very good. Uh, hay que estar poniendo atención. Ajá. Ya, foto de las oraciones en el cuaderno. Ah. Number 12. Number 12. Damaris, go ahead. Miss Damaris. Number 2. Yo lo hice. She worried too much about the exams. Ajá. How did you correct the verb? Eh, worried. Can you spell it for me? W-A-O-R-R-R-R-I-E-D. Ooh, but this is past tense. And we are studying simple present. Worries. Oh, worries. Okay. Worries, right? Maybe the exams are over, right? Quizás ya pasaron los exámenes. She worried too much about exams. And now they were very easy, right? Number 13, let's go with the next one. Arnoldo, right, if I'm not mistaken. Arnoldo, number 13. Uh, she, uh, 13, my father wants to travel to Spain. Very good, with no S, right? In this case, you uh, don't have to use, uh, okay. My uh -huh. father it's, wants it's to travel. travel. It's travel, no, yeah. sin S. Yes, because mm -hmm. you have an infinitive. Si tenemos un infinitivo con tú, no ocupamos ese, right? I want okay. to eat. You say, I want to go. No, you say, I want to go. Is, or she wants to go. Is, no. Uh, the next one, number 14. Number 14, it's for Cecilia. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Uh, <laughs> no estoy segura. It's okay, don't worry. Algo perdida. No sé, why do you study English? Excellent job. Why do you? <laughs> why do you? ¿Por qué okay. estudia inglés? Why do you study mm -hmm. English? Good. Can you give me an answer? Sonia, why do you study English? Because I like. Because I like it, right? Let's yeah. see. Uh, Mr. Luis, why do you study English? The microphone. El secreto de la eterna juventud. Go ahead. Uh, well, because I like it. Because I like, I like the language. Mr. Juan, why do you study English? Because I like to learn more about English. Because I like to learn more. Very good. Mr. Maximo, why do you study English? Because to learn other English. Other Be idiom, language, because, language. Excellent, because I want to learn other language. And that's fantastic, right? That's your reason why. Number 15, Nancy Maldonado. Can you help me with that one? Good evening. Uh, he doesn't drink tea. He doesn't drink, right? Because if you have the auxiliaries, you don't change the verb. And number 16, number 16 is going to be for Ana Maritza. Ana Maritza, thank you. And they, and they are, is, is that, is that, is that class? In the morning. Uh -huh. What is the problem with the sentence? La, la, the what? Oh. What is the problem? 
Here we have one verb and here we have another verb. What is the verb that you are going to keep for the sentence? Uh, come on. <laughs> okay, come on, come on. Yeah. That, that was the, 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 the top, the top excuse. <laughs> That has been the top excuse on my night. Go on. The better, the better excuse. The best, That's the best excuse. excuse. Yeah. Uh, in, mm. When you are in presential classes, you say like, teacher, justo esa página me mordió el chucho. Mm. <laughs> but in this one, oh, I lost it. I lost it. I don't know what it is. I, I cerré la pantalla. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> say, if you have the verb, they are, and they start, what verb are you going to keep for the sentence? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Ana Marito, can you see the screen now? Yes. 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 <laughs> so you say, they are class in the morning or they start class in the morning? They are class in the morning. Ellos son clase en la mañana. <laughs> And you say, they, they, they are, they are, they are, they are, they start, they start class in the morning. Ellos comienzan o inician clase en la mañana. Okay, they start class in the morning. Very good job. Thank you. Right? El comodín del público always works. There we go. So. As you can see here, we have to be very careful at the moment of correcting sentences and at the moment of writing sentences. You have to be very critical at the moment of writing. You have to analyze your sentences and to say, no, no, that's not okay, right? You have to be critical at the moment of creating paragraph at the moment of writing things, right? Good job, excellent. Thank you for my helpers, voluntarily. <laughs> They work very volunteer. And we were here, right? In this case, as we have the subjects, I and they, the verbs are normal, right? The verbs are in a normal form. They don't change at all. But imagine that I am not the person doing the activity, but it's she or he. How do you transform these verbs? He cooks. He cooks what? He cooks. Give me more complete the sentences. Dinner. He cooks. He cooks dinner. Uh, what for? Uh -huh. A pizza. He cooks a pizza. What for? For dinner, for breakfast, for lunch, for... For dinner. He cooks pizza for dinner. That's good, right? That's a complete sentence. If you say he cooks, only that, right? Eso lo aceptaría para ya principiante uno, yeah. He cooks. But he cooks dinner for his family or he cooks a pizza for his family because they love pizza. That's a very complete sentence with information. Give me a complete sentence with full information about she teach in third person. A long sentence. I want a long sentence, not she teaches teach English at night. Ha, she teaches English at night. Vamos, ya estamos en preintermedio. Tenemos que hacer más grandes estas oraciones. Hagamos la más grande. She teaches English at night. ¿Qué más le pondríamos? For Inglés corporativo. Ajá, uh -huh, for inglés corporativo. She teaches English at night for inglés corporativo. She has amazing students, right? She has amazing students. And that's a complete sentence, right? The next one, he clean. Give me a complete story with he clean. He cleans the car every weekend. Why? He cleans the car every weekend. I said, why? Because, because he cleans the car worked. every weekend. Uh -huh. Because he working. 
and <laughs> Saturday and Sunday. Uh -huh. If he works on Saturday and Sunday, how is he going to clean the car? <laughs> mm -hmm. si, si lo limpia en el weekend y trabaja Saturday and Sunday? <laughs> he cleans the car on weekends because he goes Clean out the, uh -huh. the beach. Because he goes to the beach. That's cool, right? Because he goes to the beach. With whom? Con quien? He goes to the beach. With your family. family. With my family. Hey, With his family. family. With his family, very good. Family. Probablemente con la mía, porque yo trabajo. <laughs> oh, quizás okay. mi, es mi hermano. Puede ser my brother. Ajá, uh -huh. it can be your brother, right? Good. Ajá. Uh -huh. He estoy... cleans my car window. He cleans my car window. Maybe on the street, right? De los que lo paran en el semáforo. He cleans my car window. That you say, no, 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 no. Car no, no, wash. No. Ah. <laughs> okay. He cleans my car in the car wash. Right? He cleans my car in the car wash. Right? Huh? Me los estoy retando que piensen más allá de lo, de lo chiquito. You no, say, teacher, porque los que están en la calle dicen todo rayado. <laughs> But, he, but the sentence, la primera que me dijiste es, he cleans my car window, aplica si hay un tercero que okay. lo hace. Yes. Y es, a eso tú le dices, no, 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 no. And they are, ah, ah, ah. And they are cleaning everything. It's like, anymore. She organized. Can you give me a paragraph with she organized? She organized the thing in the kitchen after cooking. She organized the thing. Organizes. She organizes with the S. In the, she the organizes the things cooking. in the kitchen after cooking. Good. Another phrase with organize. Elizabeth, you are too quiet today. Give me a sentence with organize. No estoy. Ajá. ¿Ah? <laughs> La oigo muy callada esta noche. ¿Qué me pasa? <laughs> ¿Quién es y qué hizo con Elizabeth? <laughs> estoy como que tantito perdida, pero estoy uh, eh, también analizando. Y esta, esta, esta frase... Este paso porque vamos es que más que me ha costado durante toda mi vida. <laughs> Hacer oraciones. It's good because it helps you to think, to use your vocabulary. Ah. Uh, quiero ver, she, she organ, organize, organizes. Organizes. Uh, here. He organizes her here, here, habitación, uh, here, and her, 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 um, bedroom, bedroom. Okay, good. Ya tenemos el punto de partida. She organizes her bedroom. Why? Why, people? Help Elizabeth. She organizes her bedroom for because... Ah, okay, Carlos, organize the idea. She organizes her bedroom because... For, for slim. For slim. Uh -huh. Sleep. Okay, she organizes sleep. her bedroom to sleep. To sleep. You don't say for sleep. She organizes uh, her bedroom to sleep. To sleep. Okay. okay. Or because she is going to sleep. If you give a reason. The next one. He attends. Teacher, a mí se me ha ido la pantalla de la computadora, por eso el niño estaba diciendo, mami, Ay, no sé. tan lindo. Yo saludándolo. 
Hi. <laughs> okay, attend. He attend. He attends. He attends uh -huh. his classmate. He attends his classmates. Why? ¿Por qué los ayuda? ¿Por qué los atiende? He attends his classmates because Rosario, uh -huh. because because <laughs> Rosemary because he attends his classmates because He's a good teacher. Yo no sé qué significa attend, por eso estoy perdido. <laughs> attend. So in that case, si no sabemos qué significa teacher, what is the meaning of attend? Teacher, what is the meaning of attend? And I will attend your question. Right? Atender, right? When your husband arrives to your house, you attend your husband, right? Ah. How are you? Here you have a buffalo. There you go. There you go. Like Vilma Pica Piedra, right? You attend your husband, right? And you sing Rockefeller's song. Oh, you attend people, right? That's the meaning of attend. And <laughs> you see, you know, yes? Este solo aplica en, en atender o asiste también. It's the same, right? As I was mentioning before, I said asiste or attend, right? We have the, the both of them, right? You can attend a phone call, for example. I will attend yeah. the clients. Fly attendant. A fly attendant, the one who assists you in the flight, a flight attendant. Okay. The two Thanks. options are possible. Good. The next one, she writes. Help. She writes. Ah, she helps. Ah, I jump. Ah, you're paying attention. Ya yes. Evie, what is a sentence with she helps? She helps. Uh -huh. Create she, a sentence. Yeah. She helps her mother cooking. She uh, helps her mother cook. Uh -huh. to cook. To cook. What? She helps her mother to cook breakfast, lunch, dinner, a special meal. A special meal. She, because, uh -huh. because the family visit her. Excellent. She <laughs> helps her mother to cook a special meal because they have a family visit. Very excellent sentence. Very complete. Fantastic. What about he coordinates? How can you make that one? He coordinates. He coordinates the meeting in the work or in he, his work. Very good. He coordinates the meetings at his work. At Excellent. His work. She writes. She writes what? Rosemary, she writes. Write is escribir, verdad? Yeah, she writes. Um, she writes a letter. Uh -huh, she writes a letter. Continue, continue, Rosemary. She writes a letter. Ay, no puedo generar una yo sola. <laughs> Go ahead, you can do it. <laughs> vamos, vamos. Yeah, ahorita. Yeah. Ya veo que vamos a hacer todo el módulo. Huh? <laughs> to create, produce, right? We're going to produce. She writes, imagine that she's she, in love. She writes a letter. She writes a letter in the notebooks. Uh -huh. um, she, poem. Okay, she writes a letter because she's writing a letter and a poem, right? She writes a letter in her notebook uh, to her boyfriend, you can say. Because a letter and a poem, there are two different things. You can say, she writes a poem and a letter. It can be to her crush. She writes a poem and a letter. A poem and a letter. Estaba escribiendo, es un poema y una carta. She's very in love. Está bien enamorada. <laughs> <laughs> she writes a poem and she writes a letter, right? The two things are different. He used, he used what? 
He uses. He uses what? Vamos a hacer la historia he, entera. Uh -huh. he, he uses, uses the cell phone. Ajá, uh -huh. he uses the, the cell phone. Cell okay, Máximo dijo, he uses the cell phone. To call. Ajá, uh -huh. to call. His oh. mother. Okay, his... He, good. Let's take the sentence. He uses he the cell uses phone. He uses glass. Uh -huh. He uses what? Glass. Okay, in that case, he uses glasses or he wears. Glasses, glasses. He wears glasses. Okay. Elizabeth, he uses he uses cell phone for watches, the class, uh, the class, 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 English. Okay, let's let's write the sentence we have here. He uses the cell phone to attend his classes, right, or his English classes. And we have another one that says he uses the phone to call his mom. Okay. He uses the computer. ¿Qué más le ponemos? He uses the computer. He uses the computer. Hagámoslo entre todos. He uses the computer. To receive the English class. Every to day. receive. To receive the English class every sure. day. To receive the English class, uh huh. What else? And type and type. And types and types. types. Uh huh. And types what? In Vamos. the night. And types in the night. <laughs> <laughs> continue, continue. I am, I am uh, creating your story. Uh huh. I will give you uh, another switch here. Uh -huh. Please. Yes. Eh, a question. Question me. Eh, es type in the night o types at night. No sé, yo estaba escribiendo lo que ustedes me estaban dictando. Porque sé que no at sé. At night. Ajá, very good. I was typing because I was just typing what you were dictating. And types at night because he's also a writer. Ajá, continue the story. Juan. Ajá. Juan, continue the story. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, uh, he, um, continue, invent he, something. Yeah. He always, he always, he always uh, dedicate, 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 uh -huh. dedicate uh, some minutes uh -huh. or minutes, some minutes, some minutes to write uh -huh. love, love letters. Ah, love letters, okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> he always dedicates some minutes to write love letters for for your girlfriend <laughs> for for your girlfriend. For his, he, is he for his girlfriend? <laughs> for his girlfriend. Okay, for his girlfriend. Okay, she. We are going to talk about the girlfriend. She. Ah, okay, the girlfriend. What can you tell me about the girlfriend? She reading. She oh, reading. She, 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 she. Estamos en present. She? She, reads. Rece she receives. receives. Ah, okay. Let's go with receives. She receives the letters and she reads them. And she feels emotion. She feels Okay, no she feels emotional. Angry. angry. <laughs> A switch. She feels angry. Why? No. She feels angry. Why? ¿Por qué se enoja? She feels angry. Because uh -huh. he has other girlfriend. Because 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 he, he writes late. I know. Se va a cortar las venas, teacher. 
<laughs> because he writes late. Because he writes late. Late. <laughs> and she loves to sleep. <laughs> Participate class, no. I know. No. <laughs> okay. Very good. Okay. Para mí, yo amo dormir. <laughs> Elizabeth is the name of the beloved one because she loves to sleep. So as you can see, you can challenge yourself to continue and invent things, to write things. But this is going to be possible only by practice. Okay? Kaiser, ¿qué pasa? <laughs> okay. no, Kaiser estaba dando su parte de la historia. Dice que la ha visto entrar a otra. Ya. Sorry, it's my dog. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Uh, Kaiser, es la primera que traigo a la casa. En Kaiser. <laughs> really? <laughs> Good. So, as you can see, you can continue writing stories. You can continue creating. You can continue inventing and producing by writing, right? But take the chance to write every day. For example, if I tell you, what are the things that a person in your house does during the day? Imagine that you are going to talk about your son, your daughter, your wife. I don't know about the people who live with you, but what do they do during the day? For example, uh, let's see, Evie, who lives in your house with you? My daughter, my sister, and my parents. Okay, what are the things that your daughter does every day? Play. She plays. Uh -huh. see the movie see the encanto movie okay she what do you do with the movies she watch the encanto she movies watches watches what? she watches encanto movie uh-huh what else what other uh, activities does she do asking for everything <laughs> she asks for everything okay yeah. Thank you, Evie. You were my good example. For tomorrow, I need you, please. I need you, please, to take your time to dedicate a little paragraph to tell me the things that a person in your house does during the day. A short thing. It's not like she wakes up, she opens her eyes, she puts the feet out of the bed, <laughs> she walks to the restroom, she pees. <laughs> okay, no, I don't want the details. I want a short paragraph on the WhatsApp group, dedicating the paragraph to what a person in your house does. If you don't live with anybody, talk about what your dog does. Talk about what your cat does. That is going to be a short paragraph. She sleeps. But uh, dedicate the time to tell me about a member of your family and describe the different activities that this person does using third person singular, okay? You say, my mother, my mother wakes up very early. She cooks breakfast. She cleans the house. She helps me with my things. She listens to music, right? And you can start writing. I don't want a list. I want a little paragraph. So try to use connectors, try to use uh, different words. For example, we were using today because she does this and this. And also she does this and this, okay? Try to create a little paragraph, okay? Write it in your notebook first, analyze it, read it. You can ask a person in the group to check it. And then you put it in the group for me to check it, okay? Si pueden ahí en el grupo, díganle a alguien, escojan a uno. Eh, eh, Máximo, can you help me? Or Evie, can you help me? Or Rosemary, can you help me? Escojan a alguien ahí si necesitan. And please don't put the paragraph in the translator. Because I can notice when something is from the translator that you use very out of the world words, right? She's my favorite acquaintance. And it's like, ¿qué significa acquaintance? ¿Alguien tiene una idea? 
What is the meaning of acquaintance? No idea? No. Conocido. Conocido, una persona conocida. Es mi, mi conocida favorita. Huh? But those are the things that you get from the translator. And you say like, this is not from Nati. <laughs> And you say, así como, no, Nati no me hubiera puesto eso. And you know, right? Please, please try to create the paragraph about the member of your family, right? In that case, you are going to use uh, different sentences in third person, right? As you can see here, we have been using today affirmative. We have used negatives. The negatives are easier because you only put doesn't or don't. For he, she, or it, you put doesn't. And for I, you, we, and they, you use don't. He doesn't cook, he doesn't clean, he doesn't attend, coordinate, right? You only use doesn't in the normal verb. And for sure, on the normal forms, you add the letter S or ES to the verbs, right? This is something important. And for the questions, you use do and does. And what you have here, for example, you say, does he, does she, does it? And with do, do I, do they, do we, right? Does is for he, she, it, and do is for I, you, we, and they. And after this one, you have the auxiliary, the subject, the verb, and the question mark, okay? In this case, for the paragraph, maybe you are not going to use the questions, only affirmative and negative. Para el párrafo, quizás solo afirmativas y negativas, you can use it, right? And maybe questions, you can ask me a question at the end, right, if you want, right? And we are going to practice the WH questions in tomorrow's class. But what we need to focus right now, it's on simple present. Remember the rules and remember the forms write it in your notebook first. So tomorrow we are going to use it, the sentences in third person, right? But we are also going to study WH questions. We studied WH questions before, right? Eso sí, ya lo vimos en el tema anterior. What, where, when, how, and who, right? And in this one, we are going to make the merging with the simple present and the WH questions. What do you do? What is the answer for that one? What do you do? I am a... Uh... I am work. <laughs> Here you have the answer. Can you check my screen? Yes, right? I but am a student. La pantalla. <laughs> I am a student and I have... A part-time job. A part-time job. Where do you work? I work at... A restaurant. I work at a restaurant or I work in a restaurant, right? The two ways are possible. The next one, where do you go to school? I go, I go to, to the, the University, University of, of Texas. Texas. I go Texas. to the University of Texas, right? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works she at work Thomas, Thomas, Thomas Cook Travel. Travel. She works at Thomas Cook Travel, right? What does she do? She's a guide. She's a guide. She takes people, people on tours. 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 On tours, right? Tours. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves, she loves it. it. She, loves she loves it. Loves it. it is funny. different when you say, what does she do at her job? For example, if you say, what do you do? What do you do? It's when you are looking for the profession. And in this case, when you say, what does she do at her work, right? It's different, the answer, because you have to express a little bit of the activities that you do. For example, if I say, eh, what is your profession? I am a teacher. You say, uh -huh, and what do you do in the place that you work? I teach, I organize, I help the teachers, I prepare the lesson, and then you give all the details of your profession, okay? We are going to be working on this part on tomorrow's class. You are going to explain a little bit of your profession and what do you do? And also 
the profession of a person in your house and the activities that this person does, okay? So prepare with that for tomorrow. That is going to be our class uh, of Thursday. Have a beautiful of Wednesday. <laughs> I am moving one day. Okay, have a beautiful night, my dear students. Practice and I will wait for your homework tomorrow. Okay, not tonight, tomorrow. If not, I can get you in props. Si no, a la una de la mañana. ¿Quién te está escribiendo? De group, de group. Huh? No. <laughs> so, <laughs> homework tomorrow, okay? Have a beautiful night. And I'm going Teacher, to... The, the paragraph of I already in the group. WhatsApp group. In the WhatsApp group. So everybody can read. Así todos lo vemos, todos leemos, todos practicamos. Y todos nos damos cuenta. Si tenemos algún error, lo podemos comentar también. Okay, aquí crecemos y aprendemos juntos. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful night. And I'm going to see you tomorrow, my dear students. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye.